change. Yeah, we will still remain in this. Nam the canoe. Listen, uh, happy will be people. Let me just tell you this time. Make we gonna go get sense. So this this evil man would not receive, would not uh, uh, release uh, Mazin Nam the canoe. Kolo is so evil. The only language he will understand is force, and all of us need to gather together and apply for exactly. yeah and apply a, apply a for even if you have to go and kidnap him uh, kidnap him back and so that he will be free so be it because he is going to hold on to Namdekan and he's going to hold on to other people that they are now snatching make more other people disappear or locked up exactly so there are some there's some Look at this guy. Look at uh, Daniel Ojuku. You've heard about him, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Simply because they couldn't get uh, Pisayo. You know, Pisayo is in the US, right? So Pisayo yeah, is going yeah. to return back, but they can't declare yeah, Pisayo so... wanted. Now they have been harassing exactly. all the journalists working with the FIJ, all because exactly. they reported on uh, smuggler IBD. Mm -hmm. day. So you're mm -hmm. right. A lot of people would end up joining Namdekano there. Maybe myself go still join them. I don't know where they go pick me up. Sure you get. So no, you're right. What I what, what, mm -hmm. what, what I will tell you anytime anytime you want to go to Nigeria. When I, the last time I went to Nigeria, not too uh, not uh not too long ago, I knew how I I landed. Uh, maybe later, just chat me up. That's the safest way. I know that you don't fly into Lagos. You know what my people said. Uh, uh, tone, right? You know what people said. Don't fly into Lagos. Don't yeah. At all. Yeah. Sure you guys. No, no, if you have to, if you have to go, there's a well, way you can go on. Of course, there'll be a time, but I, I'm only saying, I said, my people will be like, yeah. no, no, mm -hmm. no. To them, don't even, yeah. don't even have a chat around it. But, Tom, right, you and I have a lot that we're still going to do together, including all the exactly. guys around the, you know, on the other side. Yeah. We are looking yeah, at yeah. Uh, working together, discovering and finding a common ground, and hopefully, eh, we could probably push something mm -hmm. off. But let's keep trying. Yeah. Mm? Tom, Definitely. Thank so okay, much, thank you, Tom. Okay, have a good nice evening one, here. Nice so um again, guys, uh if you are still here with us, you know that you have to show that you are here, right? Even the number is now coming down from the 2000 of us on YouTube. We are now down to somewhere around 1,600. But guess what? We couldn't ever pull a, a thousand uh offering, a thousand like. Can you believe that? Listen, if you haven't really liked the broadcast, please do. Okay. Also, if you really love this and you want to still be part of it, like we run things here in the temple, all you have to do is to subscribe to my channel, okay? And if you try to subscribe and you can't, eh, you need your email to uh, sign up onto YouTube. Come on, go to YouTube and you will see where it says sign in. Now, if you are not already signed in, right? Well, I mean, so if you don't have an account like you say, okay, then sign up. Signing up means you will use your email and give your detail and then that's it you have a youtube and you can like you can share and you can subscribe make it count here is another caller hello there yes sir yes sir good evening this uh, evening good evening sir yes sir all so right is that, is um, that one uh, so. is that uh, air force one is that you that's me sir me. I've been speaking yeah. to a lot of people for a very long time that I'm so used to your voice without even looking at your numbers. <laughs> Mind you, uh, you know, Air Force One, it's been a long yes. night. Okay, Baba? Yes. And it's good to have you yes. with us. Please. Thank you. All right. So, first of all, let me start by saying that the military base, as in the U.S. military base, nobody wants... Okay, let me say, by, let me say it like this. No country in their right senses mm. ever wants U.S. to bear their back here. They don't. They do not. Nobody wants it. So this idea of, oh, they're going to come and maybe there will be security, they scare away the uh, terrorists or whatever, it will not do not. They are all for their interest. That's all, that is what all is all about. It is for their own personal interest. And that's what they do. For time in memorial, either France, uh, with US, at least those two, even you can United Kingdom, that's what they do. That's what they do. They protect their own interest. Now, I really like what that lady I do care. I think this is the second time I'm listening to her. Oh, yeah. 
she is very fast. Time. She's been so brilliant on the platform. She's a discovery. Yeah. See, second time, I listened the last time with all uh, indices and everything. She really did well. And she's right. See, my, mm. you are a crusader for my revolution. Yes. That is your own. That's what you think. Mm. Okay. You are crusading to, re, to renew people's mind, to change the mindset. You said something yesterday about this actor, I mean, actress that they stole her money yeah, from a bank, so right? Uh, mm. St. George. And so after you said, you said something about how people react, how the were reacting that, oh, just three million naira, like that how you have in your lifetime? So you see the mindset of, you know, a typical Nigerian that lives in that country, that's how they think. That's what they think. And even when you look at our educational system, our curriculum, to be honest with you, true to you, since you left that nation and you stay in UK or Glasgow, you will know that there are many lies. There are many things we were taught that wasn't right. That's right. Hmm. So she's very correct about education. Education is very, very important. There was this woman, I, I, I came across a woman uh, on YouTube like just barely three weeks ago. They called her Jane Elliott. Jane Elliott is like a, uh, a activist against racism. She's a white woman. Right. Okay. And they interviewed her. The reason why she is different from other white people. Why, why are they racist? Mm. And the only answer she you know, kept, kept giving to them, like that she gave, was it is about education. That is why I'm not well educated. So it's like it's like uh, 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 a bitterness or a um, um, you know how this is that we have with Igbo people back then that between Yoruba and Igbo that has been transferring onto the history mm. from mm. even the older Igbo to the Yoruba people even that have been fixing before it's about education. Some kids in school here have been taught that they are superior because of their skin color. Mm. I remember when my son came home from school. I mean, he wasn't talking to me directly. He was just talking, you know, and I heard him saying that somebody said he's brown in color, and that person is white in color, mm. and another one is purple in color. And I look back, I said, who in the world is having this kind of conversation with you? And you mentioned the name. Or those are the Things their parents are teaching them at home. Mm. Imagine a six-year-old boy being aware that his skin color is different from the other people. So she is very right. Uh, the girl is very right. It's about education, uh, renewal of the mind, uh, orientation, stuff like that. But regarding call, uh, whether call will accept them creating their military base or not. See, well, for me, Nigeria is gone anyways. Like we've been saying since 2014, the amalgamation of that stupid thing they did expired. So I just, it's like rumble jump right now. We're Everything just. On, uh, over time. Nigeria is existing on overtime. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. So, what do you have to do? Because let me tell you, I, I, right now, I might not remember the name of the country, but there's a country probably close to Russia. That they tried to have, US was trying to have their military base in their backyard. Russia said no. They shouldn't try it. That's why they have this war now. Yeah. In Ukraine, Russia. Do not, do not try it. Do not try it. No country is in its licenses will allow US or any you no know, other people to come and have their base. They won't. One, two, they won't allow sorry, uh, yeah, for four. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, for your Thank you, sir. Uh, contribution too. Okay, it's good to hear from you, sir. You have a good one. Hmm? Thank you. Uh, Bless you. Thank you so much, everyone. I think uh, we have had an extensive uh, convo uh, because we've had a you know a broader conversation uh, or topics tonight, and indeed I am almost uh, running out of time now. I promise you, we have just about uh, fifteen minutes. To go, and I have a caller. Hello, Hello there. Hey, my Baba. 
How are you this My uh, good guy, political, the yes, place sir. where despair is not an option. Hmm. Yeah, my God, quickly, I just want to address uh, these um, US relocating or try to. Yes, to their, their base. Yeah. That's France too. So that we, just, we don't yeah. continue to sound like it's only America who wants to come and do this to us. France wants to yeah, relocate the, their yeah. supposed military outposts in this place to us too. Like, why? Oh, yeah, go on. If, if, if America will allow Russia to bring their military base to. Uh, to Mexico, just behind their back. Mm -hmm. should, we'll allow them to bring their military base to our own place too. Let them allow Russia to bring their military base down to Mexico oh or to God. Chile or any of the southern states. Because they won't allow it. It's not going to happen. They won't. They won't let it happen. They won't let, they won't let, it's just not going to happen because there's so many things that is going to go wrong if they bring any sort of things to, to those places. Look at every place they've gone to. If you, they have their military base, in Europe and all of that, it's working well for them. But down to Africa, it's not going to work because it's just solely for their own interest. Get that is, the intention, their yeah. intention for having their security base in Europe, we know why, to protect the interest and protect the Europeans. Their yes. intention of having uh, their base in Asia is to yeah. try and continue to remind uh, China that if they try anything, they will be ready. So the reason why they have all of uh, their bases in the uh, Arab world, it is also to, according to them, to tame Iran and remind Iran that if you try anything with us, we are, we are here. But in Africa, the plan is all about our resources, not the people. You see, my, my look, okay. I think hmm? if there's a void anywhere, what I mean by void, if there are empty land every, anywhere that you're not making use of, Obviously, if you don't see anything to if you don't see anything coming out of those land, if you can't make use of those land, somebody else, even though it's your enemy, mm -hmm. will see something useful on that land. But because we've not been able to harness the potentials of this land, and these people will see like, okay, these places are empty. Mm -hmm. Let's move to our military. But if those places, those places were actually active with industries. Mm -hmm. Those places are actually active. Offer such a meaningful such. potential <laughs> things going on there. Nobody would dare want to bring in and because if the whole north, I schooled in the north. Hmm. I'm from Lagos State and I spent close to almost 20 years in the north. Oh, and secondly, I think see. uh what's her name? Um the lady that called earlier. Uh, yeah, okay. mm -hmm. yeah, she was saying something about the not not being educated, but not really to it. I'm not really against what she said. She's she's spot on, she's just just so right. Mm -hmm. But you'd be shocked to know the amount of people that are educated in the north. You'll be stunned to know that so many people are so much aware about what is going on. Compared You'll to what we, we and what we oh my to, to God. believe, Abby. Mm. I was speaking with one of them this morning. He's a northerner. Okay. Mm. He's a Christian, you know. Right. And he told me that look, there's an agenda the northerners are trying to actually, you know, they're actually cooking. There is something they're trying to do. He said, you the southerners, you just all you want to do is you want to leave Nigeria. The country is not too good for you. You just want to shake yourself and you are out. He said the northerners are not bothered. He said they are not bothered. He said because there's an agenda. The agenda is you people should just do whatever it is you want to do. Get they make you so uncomfortable for you to leave because the agenda is for them to actually take over the whole country. Because if the smart of you are gone, what is left? If the best of you guys are gone, what is left? He said, look at us in the north. It's not that we like what is going on. But it's just unfortunate that the, the uh, what would I call, the, um, the Islamist, the crazy ones, mm -hmm. one, exactly. He said the best of them are not actually in charge of the, you know, they are not actually in charge of the political system in the north. He said the crazy ones that he has this are just the one that, he said, look, you, you guys can do, you can scream all you want. The agenda is for, the agenda is just for them. You guys should just get uncomfortable yeah. and find your country. Mm -hmm. So they can have people like Tunumbu, have people like all these crazy politicians we have that they can control and tell them what they want. Those are the kind of people. But the intellect among you, they just don't want you, they don't want you around. They don't Are want you, you sure guys. that uh, want, they never they have any control. chance of uh, taking power. You're right. I mean, that is playing out already, Baba. I mean, we can that see it. 
coming the out. The worst coming of us is actually are those re representing us, the best of us. Absolutely. That's exactly what I told him. I said the worst of the Southerners are the ones actually. I said, just listen to these people. Listen to the guys, that, the economic team of Tunubu. Listen to those guys. The last time I called, I, talk, I talked about those guys because I'm so concerned. If the economy... If the economy of the Yorubas, this one's a Yorubas, but by Yorubas, exactly. we are presented as oh, very educated, articulate, oh problem solvers, you know, collaborators, the nation builders, and stops like that. Yorubas, you see, you will see Yoruba there now. Yorubas are in charge of Nigeria economy, Baba. I am Do not going to come out and say this one's a Yoruba to represent me. No way, yeah, that's to tell you. In order to even tell me. Sir. In fact, does it not look like boy is even better than? It's almost know? looking like it already. Does and it not look like trying to gen to be generous so by saying, uh, yeah. "Okay, uh, you know what I mean? Maybe not totally better, but it's already looking oh, like it's going to be." It look like it's better because they are all they are all calamity. Both of them are actually a bunch of calamity that have actually happened to that Damn country. It, man. So, hey. so it's just if we look at the whole scenario, we just look at it's a plan that is just playing out itself gradually. Gradually, it's really we taking a face over it and seeing how it's uh, maybe it's uh, it's just gonna stop or it, maybe it's not going to affect us. Nobody's gonna be spared, Baba. You know Nobody's gonna, gonna be spared. Nobody's gonna be spared. So it's 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 an agenda and it's really working its way up. So thank you for your time. I appreciate it and uh, Baba. I'll talk to you again. I know. Thank you so much for stopping by as well. You know, I love that. You have a good one. Thank too, you, okay, and a wonderful week, by the way. We are having a bank holiday tomorrow, so we're not working tomorrow in the UK. So, not in America. I don't think I can say the same of you guys, right? Thank you. Enjoy the rest of uh, your evening. Let me speak to Dr. Agbede, somebody who would uh, possibly light in this room now. Doctor! <laughs> sing a song. Sing a song. Sing a song. Sing a song. Birthday. My birthday, everybody. <laughs> oh, happy birthday to you. No, I don't want to sing that. And the Lord joy be here. Okua she ye. Emiya she ye. Thank you so much. Dr. Agbede. Oh, the Lord joy be here. Thank you so much. Emiya she ye. Happy birthday to you, sir, from all of us. How are you today? You. Thank you so much. I'm doing. Great, 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 great. <laughs> Doctor Agbede turned 60 this week, and we are happy to celebrate that with him tonight. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear very well. Great. Very well. Do you want to say something clear. tonight before you go? Or you just want us to sing? I just party? want. Yes, I just want you and the member of the temple family to just celebrate to your child at home because he's one of the members celebrating it's his birthday. Us. Yeah, this is one of us. Diamond, diamond, diamond birthday, diamond. The diamond jubilee, Abby. <laughs> That's a beautiful one. Doctor, yes. <laughs> you know, God bless you. 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 you there, okay? You have a good evening. Sir. I can see, I can see, I can see. Thank Brilliant. you so much. Eh? Thanks so much. So, Doctor turned 60 uh, this week and indeed, we are happy to uh, share that moment with him. And to all of you who also, whose birthday is this past week or yours is this week. Now, we may not have a chance of singing happy birthday to you, okay? So in advance, I am saying happy birthday to you. Enjoy your week. I mean, enjoy your day, okay? Uh, worry less about the rest of the world, okay? We are all going to die. That's guaranteed. We are all going to die someday. So, but before we die, we all need to live first. So if this week is your birthday, from me and from the Templars, we are saying happy birthday to you in advance. And on that note, we will draw the curtains, draw the curtains. So thank you so much, everyone. Uh, remember, please share this, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'm going to meet you here tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, we have our brunch time with Mayagun tomorrow. And I don't think you want to miss that, do you? Good night from here. And you have a wonderful uh, week too. Do 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 do
o fo lohun so e ba kilep loto olododo ilu oja ilu mama ni iwo sa ma sora ko si mo beru mo ta le ri bo ni segun le ka won mama fi se ra won ni o ti dehun ti won gbodo si mo be eh e ku obo lo mo ba de ro ta je o gbodo je o ti do ba lori abinu eni ko si mo buya ai si wolu ni eni ke igbo di eyin la para o o ku eni to ba dan o akamu maye o ti je gbo oje lu e tun ra ki ha maye ko ti je gbo oje lu e tun ra ki o eni ba ti se yi 